Hi everyone. In this question, we're being asked to solve this exponential equation. Okay, notice that the left-hand side here is 8 to the 2x minus 1, and then we've got is equal to 1 over 4 to the x, and then 32. Now, one of the first things you do when you see an exponential equation like this, and I know it's exponential because the variable's in the exponent, have a quick look at the bases and see if you can see a relationship here. And in, in these first questions, uh, yes, we can. All of these are powers of 2. Okay? So the easiest thing for us to do right now is to convert them all back into those kind of primary bases here. So 8 is going to be 2 cubed. So this will be 2 cubed to the 2x minus 1. Uh, 1 over 4 is the same as 2 to the negative 2, and that is still to the x. And 32 is going to be 2 to the 5. Okay? So now everything's written in terms of, or as a, as a base of 2, as powers of 2 here. I haven't done anything, though. I mean, this is still the exact same expression, just written slightly differently. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick look at the exponents here. I've got a power of a power, so I multiply the exponents out. Now, here's where a really common mistake happens here. You've got to remember to distribute this 3 to both of those terms in that binomial power. So this becomes 6x minus 3. Now, over here, there's a couple things going on. First of all, I've got a power of a power, so I'm going to multiply those together to get negative 2x. But then I'm also multiplying two powers of 2 together. And when you multiply powers, you add the exponents. So this becomes 2 to the negative 2x plus 5. OK, good. Now that I've got a power equal to a power, and the bases are the same, I can, by default, state that their exponents are the same. So 6x minus 3 has got to equal negative 2x plus 5. That has to be true if the powers are, true, are the same and the bases are the same. Now, this isn't, this isn't canceling the bases. Okay, please don't think about that. It's not like I'm canceling the twos out. You can't actually do that. We're just taking advantage of the fact that if the powers are the same and the bases are the same, the exponents must be the same. Now I can bring the 2x over to make that 8x, bring the 3 over to make that 8, and I discover here that this is true if x is equal to 1. And there's the solution to our equation.